uses a debit card to pay for gasoline during these times of rising gas prices. You may think you were just buying 30 or $40 worth of gas. But consumer reporter John Matarese explains why the bill could be much bigger, so you don't waste your money. With gas prices nearing $4 a gallon this spring, filling the gas tank is becoming more and more expensive. But lately, many drivers are finding that gas stations are charging them even more when they fill up with a debit card. Denise Aguero recently checked her checking account balance after getting gas and was stunned to learn her card had a hold on it for $125. I just think $125 is unreasonable unless they tell me. If they tell me what they're doing, I'm, I don't mind. She says it almost cost her to overdraft the next time she used her card. There you could have an overdraft fee and you could have other purchases that you're not able to make. Uh, that you really have the money for. It's known as a pre-authorization fee or debit card hold. Many gas stations now do this. Now, if you use a credit card at the pumps, this isn't an issue. It comes up when you use a debit card, and consumer groups say it's a real concern if you use your debit card without entering the PIN number. The hold, which usually lasts just an hour or two, protects gas stations from customers who buy $60 worth of gas but only have 10 bucks in their account. But don't yell at the gas station clerk. The amount of the hold is set by your bank, not the gas station. Still, Denise thinks stations putting any sort of hold on debit cards should alert customers. It's real easy. Post a sign. Some Florida gas stations are now facing a class action lawsuit for not divulging this at the gas pump. But most stations don't warn you ahead of time. So if your account is low, you might want to ask the clerk if they authorize so you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris.